Wow, you're so unnoticeable, I almost rolled into ya. <laughs> uh, shouldn't you get to class early to prep your... Oh, Willow. You don't have anything to show, do you? <sighs> this is why people call you half a witch Willow. Oh, looks like someone wants to say something to you. Abomination? Rise. Aw, it's like mine. But much smaller and meaningless. As top student, it's my duty to tell you to keep at it. Even you could get a passing grade someday. Abomination, cower. See you in class, superstar. Excuse me, sir, but I am ready to present my abomination. Rise! Hey, <gasps> last time I saw you, your abomination was mush. What did you do? I bet you did. I've got my eyes on you, half a witch. That badge is mine. I saw that! Abominations don't eat! I know you're in there! You can't hide from me! What are you? Who are you? I want answers! Huh? But I... No! Look at it! But... Not so fast! I'm not letting you get away so easily. I want my badge! Abominations! Seize! Watch where you're... Oh, it's you. Willow's abomination thing. Ugh, put that away. You're the one that got me in trouble with Principal Bump, and I never get in trouble. You can't be here! This convention is for witches only. Is that your ferocious demon there? Oops, that was an accident. Because you and your pet are giving witches in training a bad name. Cause you can't. I accept. Let's set the terms for this duel, shall we? Fine by me. But when I win, not only do you have to tell the whole convention you're not a witch, you have to stop training. Forever. The everlasting oath is sealed. Meet back inside the theater in one hour. Let's see what kind of witch you are. Abomination! Rise! Show me what you got, human! I, I saw you that time! You didn't use your hands! What are you getting at? How are you doing that? Why, Luz? What happens if I step closer? You were cheating! Who I could believe anything you say? Hey, what are you- <laughs> Seriously, just leave me alone. That's all you ever do, first at school and now this! You made me look like a fool in front of the Emperor's Coven. My future! You think it's so easy to be a witch. I have been working my whole life to get to the top. You lost! You cheated! Say it! Say you're not a witch! That's nothing. A child could do a light spell, but I've never seen it cast like that. The oath is unbound. Humans have no magical ability, but I doubt that'll stop you. Uh, leave her alone. It's not her fault she was born without talent. What do you think you're doing? We're your friends, and we want to help, said the tin boy with a yelp. Odebin smiled and paced the floor. I've never had real friends before. Then we'll be your first, the chicken witch clucked. Odebin couldn't believe his luck. So bookmaker Odebin, surrounded by friends, bound a book of friendship, and that's the end. Thank you, Braxis. See you next time. Ugh, you. It's for extra credit. Don't get your leggings in a bunch. Human, do you see me going to the owl shack and bugging you while you fry up owls? <sighs> okay, I don't really know what you do there, but every time you come near me, I get in trouble. Just leave me alone. <sighs> she is not my friend. You can leave now, all of you. <clears throat> Whew, almost passed out. I saw that human girl again. I may have overreacted. I don't want to come off as cruel. I just can't show weakness. It's not fair. I'm the only one who knows Ed and M aren't perfect. Why do they keep getting away with things? I wish I had somewhere to go. Why won't the human leave me alone? I called my teacher mom again. Uh, sorry I haven't written for a while. Wait, why am I apologizing? Got I wish I had somewhere, somewhere to go. Human leave me alone. Really? <laughs> you two are the worst. But you? I've been trying to figure out what your deal is. Are you a poser? A nerd? I know. You're a bully, Luce. First you embarrass me, then you want to be my friend? I, I don't get you. Pick a side. Just go away before things somehow get worse. Odebin? <laughs> Why are you doing this? I I've been reading you since I was a kid. I know you're not like this. Someone changed you. Great work, Lazura. Well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be stuck together forever. What are you doing? Now what? <laughs> 
Luz! Luz has to right a wrong. Luz, quick! <sighs> hey, it's okay. We're still friends. This never happened. Thank you. Maybe you aren't a bully. I haven't exactly been the friendliest witch either. I'll think on that. Edric! Emera, stop bothering her! Sorry, Luce. They insisted on coming for some reason. They've been extra protective and nice towards me to make up for the library incident. In any case, here's your book. It was fine. Oh, and we're what? Oh, uh, sorry, but to be in my class, you need to take a placement exam and prove that you've mastered two spells. I know you have your light thing. Uh, do you know anything else? Because if you don't, they'll put you in the baby class. Sorry, whoever's over there! What's that about the baby class? I'm here to train. I'm trying to beat n &M's highest score on the exam. <clears throat> I don't think the owl lady wants to show us any of her powerful spells. <laughs> Edric, don't eat that. And what are you doing with my wand? I'm on it! <laughs> what? Did you use this all up? Edric! Emera! No! I am going after them. You are staying here. And because of you, it also has my brother and sister. Now stay put. You'll only get hurt. Luz! Uh, how did you get past the barrier? But I can't do it without the wand. Okay. Luz! Uh, stop! <sighs> so it looks like we'll be in the same class. As long as it's a secret club, okay? Hey, Luz, congrats on getting in. And not being in the baby class. So you two go to the same school now. Uh, that doesn't change anything. <sighs> huh? And that concludes the presentation from the Abomination track. Abomination, fight! Are these made of real insect wings? I'm a blight. We only associate with a select few. Keep annoying me, though. I'm happy to select fewer. Oh, no. Yep, just a super cute ghost. But they're all mine. Willow, I'm sorry. But I have to do this. Huh? Oh no. No, 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 no! Um... Oh, come on! Hi. I saved as many as I could! Ugh. Why would they make memories so flammable? So, this is the Owl House. And you sleep here? Willow might not want me in there. <sighs> okay, I'll do what I can. Where's her inner Willow? Do you really think it'll help? Loose? Loose? Like Lacuna. This is where Willow and I took swimming lessons. The ash must be from the fires. <gasps> our fort! In the dunes! One time Willow wanted to play hooky from our swim lessons, so we built this. We knew the swim teacher would be on the prowl, but Willow said she'd protect us with an illusion spell. Wait, something is missing. There. We're back! Willow was a late bloomer. Wait! Uh, you want important moments? This one might be about a crush. Yeah, Willow threw up a lot that day. That's when you knew she was having fun. Yeah, I just, I can't believe I almost erased all this. I really messed things up. We can fix this together. I just, <gasps> what's that? No, I actually saw something. At least I, I think I did. Wait, that's not, yeah, that one's hard to explain. We're getting pretty good at fixing these. Me? Avoid? No, but let's skip it. Where's Edith Bell? <laughs> Help? All you're doing is prying into your friends' lives. Well, did you ever think maybe it's none of your business? <laughs> is something burning? <gasps> hide, hide, hide! Please call Ida. I don't want to be here when it comes out. What? We can't go in there. I'm in there. Loose. Wait, please. Before all this started, there, there was something else. Willow, you were never too weak to be my friend. I was too weak to be yours. I can't take back what I've done, but I can promise you this. I won't let Basha and her gang pick on you ever again. I'm not actually gonna rip it because it's a real butterfly, but you get the gesture, right? I'm not sure. Watch it, nitwit. Oh, hi, Luce and co. Sorry about that. It's just, it's private. They're not for decoration. This arena is where I'll make my debut as Grom Queen because this isn't just some dance party. That's Grom. Short for Grometheus, the fear bringer. It's a monster that lives under the school. Every year it tries to break out and a student has to defeat it before it invades the town. Ever the optimist, Bump holds a party and calls it tradition. The worst thing is that Grom can read minds and shapeshift into your worst fear. And mine is very embarrassing. <laughs> no, but that's a good idea. 
Thanks, Luz. And here I thought this day... Oop, couldn't get any worse. <sighs> he said no. I'm Grom Queen. Unless I can find a replacement, who'd want to switch with me? What? If that bird tube ever talks to me again, I'm going to destroy it. You ready to train? Luce, you need to take this seriously. If you can't defeat Grom, everyone on the island will have to live out their worst nightmare. Grom will transform into your darkest fears. What are you afraid of, Luce? Not enough. The reason I can't face Grom, it goes deeper than things that just gross me out. What's your real fear, Luce? Uh, you look nice. Strange, but nice. And thank you, Luce. Honestly, I'm kind of amazed with how fearless you are. You've done things I could never do. <laughs> In your dreams. Ah! Stay away from her! I'm sorry, Luce. I should have fought my own battle. Really? Well then, if that's settled, may I have this dance? Oh, it's... it's not important. <laughs> oh, please! You know, I used to be like you, Basha. Obsessed with status, challenging my competition. But I grew up. When will you? Oh, Luz! You're here! I mean, obviously you're here, this is school. And you go here now, with, uh, me. <laughs> I've been talking for too long. Yes, I can help! With... What, exactly? Yeah, this time of year, she's extra unbearable. The hard part is there's no reasoning with Basha. She only speaks in grudgey terms. I'm not putting anything down. Luz, this isn't a good idea. Me? On a team with you? <laughs> Running around in cute uniforms? <laughs> Sweating? I gotta go! Tough practice. Did you know before Basha, I was the grudgey team captain? Well, once I left the team, I decided that was a part of my life I wanted to forget. We were playing Glandis High for the Island Championship. We had a move planned, and it was a good one. But at the last minute, I decided I wanted to do something a bit flashier. I changed our game plan to the Thorn Vault. It went disastrously wrong. My teammates got hurt, all because I had an idea of how things should be. I pushed them too far. I never played again after that day. Luz needs our help! I know she pushed you guys, and she always gets in over her head. She can be so stupid, which I love. I mean, hate! In any case, she needs you right now, which is sweet. I mean, I hate it, and it's dumb! Just... here. Right here. No. I think I made it better. <laughs> There's time for one more play. Watch out! <laughs> Luz! I think... I think I hurt my leg, but I'll be okay. <laughs> I'm fine! <laughs> Who's Amity? And scoop! <laughs> oh, wow. Sports. Shut up. Yes, Mom. Wow, it's so fast and strong. Order now. Oh no, it's undefeatable. How will I ever escape? Huh? Hey, Luce. In celebration of your return, I have brought you a homemade fairy pie. The ingredients are very fresh. Mom? I'm a... I'm sorry, I was a coward in there, but my mom... No, no, Luce, you don't have to do that. I... I can't. I have to go. Mom, I'm ready for the show tonight. Found a replacement? Did anyone come to the house today? Mm. Luce is in trouble! That'll take too long. We should just rush the guards at the door. We should just bust our way through. You're still in there now. now! Ed, Em, you're helping? Hey! Stay away from my loot! Luce, are you okay? But no, you're gonna listen to me for once. Luce, Willow, and Gus are my friends. They're nice to each other. They listen to each other. They make me think about the kind of person I really want to be! Let my friends back into Hexide, or else your precious investors will watch me rip this thing apart bit by bit. Can you actually do that? Shh. Come on, give it back. No! If you give me back my hairband, I'll read you whatever book you want tomorrow. Are they bothering uh. you again? And this might tell you how to travel between realms, right? Well, something this old would be kept in the Forbidden Stacks. Only Malthus, the master librarian, is allowed in here. Hey, wait. I never said I wasn't gonna help. My staff card should be able to open those doors. But once we're inside, you have to listen to everything I say. If we're caught, I could lose my job. Well, let's not waste any time. Actually, 
or here. <gasps> Wait, Malthus is actually the one who gave me my job and my own study room. He's usually nice, but if we're caught, he'd feed us to the bookworms. <laughs> the human world sounds odd. We're getting that diary! <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Oh. Not right now, Luz. Everything's changed since you came here. Being around you, it makes me do stupid things, and I wish it didn't. I think I need to go home. Ever since Luz came here, things have just gotten confusing. I'm thinking things I've never thought before. I'm feeling things I never used to feel. So, how's it look? Oh yeah, Mom always liked it green. I thought I could use a change. Uh, how'd you get this back? And what happened? <sighs> well, looks like you made a new friend. <laughs> Wait, this is an Echo Mouse. It consumes knowledge through writing and can play back anything it eats. We dealt with them a lot at work. Watch. Don't worry. You always have a way of sneaking into people's hearts. Uh, okay, good to see you. Farewell forever. Why did I do that? 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 Luce? Where are we? I think Hootie brought me here? Yeah. House demons get like that after a couple thousand years. It's fine. Listen. About what happened at my place, I kind of... If we could just forget about the whole thing, maybe? Did you, um, did you just say something? Yeah, it kind of was. I'll get out of your hair. Yeah, this was stupid. I mean, us? Dating? <laughs> That's stupid, right? What's going on? I'm alright. I'm not as cool as you think. Do you want to go out with me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you can say it. Yes! <laughs> Hootie, what's your status? Good. Clean up that mess. Willow, have you gathered the supplies? Excellent. Aw, oh, Ghost, did you help too? Who's a good talisman? Great, now all we need is... That's great. Wait, Ida's still here? Ida, you're supposed to be helping Hootie build our defenses. Huh? Yeah! This looks ancient. Guess you're old, who cares? We have a crisis on our hands. Does this seem fine to you? But she's a human. We have no idea how it'll affect her. I am not getting this back until you're better, okay? Oh, uh, you got it. I know. But I was taught to see every situation as an opportunity. And today, I'll show Luce that I am an awesome girlfriend. Luce! <gasps> I volunteer as well. As Luce's girlfriend, I must... Well, we can't afford to mess this up. Luce is counting on me. I mean, us. A coven scout! <gasps> the Golden Guard? He is a lot scrawnier than I imagined. Too bad, because I don't trust you. What? They're not paying attention. Us? There is no us. Now keep walking. Watch it. She's also blocking the path to Eclipse Lake. Stop talking like we're a team. You have no idea what you're talking. I was gonna say, you have no... Stay back! But what doesn't look good? No, Luce wouldn't make that kind of threat. I'm an awesome girlfriend. We don't have time to play around. We are getting that Titan blood. But Eclipse Lake is farther ahead. No! <sighs> Fine. So, where will you go now? That jerk! Guys, you're okay. There it is! <laughs> then why are you digging? Luce has been sending me these strange human codes. I don't understand all of them, but this one seems pretty clear. Come back with results, or we're done. You are rad. Fool's blood bad. You okay? Come home? <laughs> of course. This is loose we're talking about. You know, you were right. We do have a lot in common. I grew up thinking that everything was an opportunity to justify existing. But there are people out there who won't make you feel worthless. You just have to let yourself meet them. What are you... Ah, <gasps> oh, come on! Being nice usually works for Luce! Fine. Just... stay away from Luce. Me too. News? Actually, we might be okay. I heard he's scarred from wild magic. <laughs> oh, Batata. Yes, is that not a term of endearment? I'm still figuring out this human language book from Gus. Uh, so, did that Titan blood ever come in handy? Uh, hey, Willow. It's, uh, been a while since I came here on my own. 
Hey, so Luz has been acting super weird, and I think she's lying about her trip to the human realm, and she left her phone, a uh, fun, uh, her thingy at school, and... <sighs> Luz says she hasn't been to the human realm, but I just get the feeling that she's lying. And I can find out the truth by watching this. But I'm not gonna invade her privacy like that, would you? <laughs> Willow? <laughs> okay, but I am a little rusty. I'm glad we can be like this again. Book 5, Chapter 8, Azura pretends to kidnap Hecate. Yes, but right now I just want to keep my girlfriend from being sent to the conformatorium. Again. Maybe you can tell me about this? Uh, don't worry, I haven't watched it. But you did finish the portal door. You did see your mom. And it looks like it didn't go well. I know this situation is crazy, and... I'm okay taking things one day at a time, but I can't help if I don't know what's going on. Tell me what happened. Is Bellows planning something? And why did he say he's gonna meet you again? Didn't you already meet? What else don't I know? What's gonna happen? Luz! <sighs> I heard that <sighs> the author of Azura is having a signing this afternoon at the Book Nook. You are much less excited than I imagined. <laughs> no, she's not. She's from the demon realm. How do you think I got my books? Can the author of Azura travel between realms? Do you think she has her own portal? <gasps> do you think she's related to that human guy, Philip? Okay, these theories are a little unrealistic. It's obviously your mother as a teenager sent forward in time to train you in the ways of witchcraft. I don't know. I've never found another store that sold those books. I think that's her. That's the author! Maybe it's another shape-shifting basilisk, trying to write their story through metaphor. Tanella Nosa? I, I didn't know, I swear! So, are you upset? Well, I had fun coming up with those theories. They were like our own stories. What would be our first writing prompt? Luz! I have a problem and it could distract us all day. Dad, look! It's the Bonesboro Brawl tonight. And since I'm finally old enough to participate, I, I was thinking... Ugh. Dad! Clearly. So do you think you'll be able to take me to the brawl tonight? You mean to make sure I get there? Dad, I don't want to go to coven tryouts. I want to enter the brawl and maybe win the champion belt, like you did. I don't even want to join a coven anymore. And this thing is so embarrassing, I even tried disguising it. Ugh. The Bonesboro Brawl is the one cool thing my dad did before joining the Abomination Coven. It would have been nice to share something with him. What? You know what? I'll give it a shot! Abomination? Fetch me a, uh, rare and, and difficult to find emerald dagger from the night market. My dad can't find out that I ditched tryouts. Not until I win that belt. <laughs> this won't take long. <gasps> Not bad. Wait, how's this supposed to help me? Is everything okay? Ida told me it's a special day for you. Just don't get hurt, okay? Yeah, this is just a nasty one. Ugh, it's back already. You didn't touch it, right? Dad filled this thing with alarms. Dad? How did you find us? Luce, did you lie to me earlier? Well, I am worried. You've been acting weird all day, and now I'm in trouble. What is going on with you? No! I'm not going anywhere with you! Either of you. I've always wanted to enter this brawl. I thought it would be fun to bring home the belt. And I thought I could understand my dad better. But then you joined the competition. And then you tried to mess with that abomaton on your own? And then you lied about it. You've been acting strange all day. Does it have something to do with the human realm? I don't know what rituals you have in the human realm, but I'll help you pick some flowers and we can do something here. Dad! I got your back! Huh? Oh, he just doesn't get it! Are you guys doing okay? I'm making my own choices from now on. But you're welcome. No, that's always been Mom's dream. And you just went along with it. I bet you didn't even know I was dating Luce. See? You don't talk to us anymore. You're too busy making these monsters for the Emperor, and Mom's too busy trying to dye my hair green. Finally, someone gets it. Can you tell Mom that? It's a start. Find any good ones? Let me try. Ugh. How do you get it to do what you want? Do you think they'll reach the human realm? 
These are the last messages I got from Luce. She must have typed them quickly because all I could decipher was, learned a lot of bad stuff, something something, day of unity, something something, and don't scare him away? I don't know what any of it means. Oh, <laughs> those are for me. It's okay, Willow. They're tough. Not everyone can stand up to them. Oh, of course, yes. Smart move. What? How did we get here? I just got a text from Ed. He, Bump, and a bunch of others are in the healing homeroom. We should find our way over. <gasps> Willow, watch out! <laughs> Lucky shot, Willow. No, I got this. I just got you back as a friend. Let me protect you. That won't be a problem. Willow can bust through anything. Nice one. What's going on? I really have to talk to my parents about this. I can't believe you took down a coven head. Well, someone has to tell mom about the draining spell. Or else she and dad are helping Bellows hurt people. <gasps> hey guys, dad might listen. Guys? Can't believe mom broke it. I'm gonna fix it and I'm gonna get a message out to Luce. I'm gonna do something. Dad would listen. I know he would. World is ending. No one will listen to us. And I just, I just want to know that Luce is safe. Probably something dorky, but also sweet. Like how I shouldn't give up and that anything is possible. And she'd say that I might be scared now, but to not let that stop me because, because every problem has a solution. And everything's been so crazy, we've barely been able to spend time together. And I am not letting the world end before we go on a real date. Luce! I know. I can't believe I just did that. Luce, I don't think my parents know what they're helping Bellos accomplish. Uh, will you help me tell them about the draining spell? We? Oui? That's my dad's workroom. Edric! Emera! You're helping a witch hunter destroy everything! Don't you talk to my girlfriend like that! How did I do that? Was it the power of believing in myself? No! You! I am never speaking to you again. Willow, wait! Dad, can you use that thing to shut down the abomatons at the head? What's going on? She's being taken to Bellows. Then fly faster! We're barely halfway there. Luce could be in trouble. Look, we're all exhausted and terrified. Let's focus our energy on helping Luce instead of fighting each other. Aw, this is just like when I was a kid. Wait, is this why you call me Mittens? Mom! Dad! Dad, are you okay? Dad, no, we're not gonna leave you. We have to get to the house. You could be in trouble. Did you really think we wouldn't follow you? Yes! The memories last a lifetime. Loose, come on! Big loose! Please! We have to do whatever it takes to get back. Don't worry, V. We'll keep you safe. Hmm. I was the top student once. Maybe we should take a break. We've been here for months, and we've made no progress on the portal door. We can't expect Camila to take care of us forever. Maybe we need to look elsewhere. There's an entire human realm to search. So, let's explore the town ourselves. After all, Luce went into the Boiling Isles on her own. Yes, that's the spirit. Together, there is no challenge that can hold us back. Ugh! Ow. Come on, Flapjack. This isn't funny anymore. <gasps> There's something in here. That eye. It, it kind of looks like the old portal door. What if it's just another dead end? She already feels responsible for our failed attempts. All right, Luce is at her mom's vet clinic putting tiny little bandages on hedgehogs. So today, we're going into town to solve this code. Hunter, I don't think the world is ready for the brave fashion choices of the year 2008. Please change. We're actually here to ask about this old puzzle. Do you know how to decode it? If this is a portal door, then what about these? A, a ribbon and tanning a hide? High tans blood? <gasps> Titan's blood! It wasn't always like this. Yeah, I can't wait to show everyone at home. I can't wait to tell Luce, and I know just how to surprise her. Luce, we're designing our costumes for the Haunted Hayride. And I thought you and I could take inspiration from... Good Witch Azura, the movie 2, The Betraying. I could be the Hecate to your Azura. What do you think? All right, we'll keep the puzzle a secret till the time is right. And then we'll tell her about the Titan blood. We're gonna have the best night. And we might even have a surprise for you. 
Widowbane? Isn't that Bellows? Hey, where's Luce and Hunter? Uh, did you find them? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I just, I wanted to show Luce the Rebus. Huh? Wait, wh where did it go? <gasps> what? Um, Luce, what did Bellows mean when he said you helped him meet the Collector? I mean, that was a lie, right? Why did you keep all that a secret? I couldn't hate you, Luce. The fact that you still stand up for us means enough to me. Luce, I know things are scary, and I don't know what the future holds, but it would be so cool if you were a part of that. But no more hiding, okay? Luce! You were in there for so long, we, we thought you got stuck behind! Are you hurt anywhere? Maybe a little. <sighs> Hello, you gorgeous slime! <laughs> Actually, the Titan Skull is normal. Everything else is wrong. Hey, did you think sitting in a nest was gonna help your palisman hatch? Remember what the Bat Queen said. To connect with a palisman, you need to express your deepest wish. Well, after being handed the staff, I said, I want to be a great witch. Or, uh, I don't know, I want to be an author like Mildred Featherwild. But she wouldn't move until I admitted that... I don't know what I'm gonna be when I grow up, but I want to choose the path myself. And that was enough. You just gotta be patient. This isn't the only reason you're in here, is it? Don't worry. I'm a safe flyer. Ah! Oh my titan. What happened? Come here, you weirdos. Yeah, Hexlide doesn't even have a student council. I would know I kept trying to organize one, but Bump thought I was too obsessed and- All right, girl, take a breath. <sighs> At least we'll all be together to figure it out. Right, Luce? Basha, come on! This is a bit much, even for you! Luce? Camila! Are you okay? <gasps> Let us go, Basha. <sighs> what are you saying? Eh? Sorry, we don't have time for this. Basha, you're hurting me! <gasps> I can't be who you want me to be, Basha but we can still save your teammates. Will you let us try? They'll hold her back. Let's get to the skull. Oh, an otter. I still love her. Although Hootie might eat her. King might too. Eat a might three. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember? This is all you're doing. You helped Bellos meet the Collector. Your actions led to this. You've been the real villain this whole time. I'm sorry, Luce. But I have to take you down. I'm sorry. But for the sake of everyone you hurt, I challenge you to a witch's battle! I said, I challenge you to a witch's battle! Luce? Yes! We've all been collected, including Camila. The collector came from the sky and... You turn on the light. Oh my gosh. It worked. Miss Lilith? Oh. Guys... Where's Luce? What is this? Ugh. What's wrong with my magic? We wanted to make it up to you. Bye!